Today is the beginning of a cyan experiment. I have cyans here that I harvested and wrapped exactly three days ago. And they've been sitting out here in the breezeway for all three days. A lot of people want to know how long will cyans keep and still be able to be grafted successfully. And so we're hoping to answer this question, and today is step one. And step one is to take two of these scions and graft them onto some existing plants in the grove, and then we will put the rest of these in a bag with a small amount of moisture in the vegetable crisper in the refrigerator. So let's get going. I'll take two and go. So let's pretend I just got these scions in the mail. It's been three days since they were harvested, so it's about the age they would be if you had ordered them from us. So uh, they're both the same variety, and one is significantly longer than the other. I like to use a little bit shorter scion than this, so I'm just going to cut the bottom off of it. No big deal, the action happens at the top. And since I'm going to graft with this one right now, that I just cut the bottom off of, put the other one away. And the first thing to do is to make the cut. So this one has a curve to it. So I'm going to use this curve right here and make my cut right along that. I think that will help it sit in the in its place. You can see there's a little bump a little bit higher up so I'll take the bump off also. We want it to lie flat against whatever I graft onto. So the rest of this, see I just pulled the buddy tape off the bottom part, it's easier to work with. You don't want to get pieces of buddy tape on the cut surface when you graft. Uh, you know, just take them off before that because they will actually not help your graft at all if they are on the cut surface. So there's the flat, well, almost flat. Got to get that one little bump out there still. Okay, so that's the flat and then I'll do the little notch above it on the top part of that scion and make sure it gets down to a very thin point. Imagine one cell thickness at the point. Okay, so there's my cut and now I'm going to graft it onto one of these seedlings. This is a big turpentine tree right here and all of these seedlings underneath are turpentine seedlings. So I'm going to graft it right on here. Uh, this particular seedling is heading toward the sun, so there's an arch here to it. And I think that this will graft nicely in this portion. You don't want to have any gaps in the uh, cut between the surface of the seedling and the surface of the scion. So I'll just make a longer cut than I need because it won't matter that this area is cut in the long term because if this takes, I will cut off everything of the seedling that is above this scion. So here we go. You want to make the cut uh, go down to the part where it slides easily. The, whatever blade you're using should slide fairly easily. So I think that's got it. Make a little notch. Uh, it's probably more of a notch than I need, but I'll try it out. See how it, the scion fits in here. I think that will, I think the elastic can 
we'll pull that tight against the seedling but right now I'm seeing a little bit of um, wave right up in here and that was from those those ends uh, where the leaves attached those little so anyway what I'm doing is just making that a little bit flatter cut and so the elastic won't have to work so hard so let's see how that does it yeah it looks much better another thing you can do to help you know depending on how old the seedling is is you can actually bend the seedling a little bit if you have a little gap but that's looking pretty darn good so first thing I do is use buddy tape to wrap it and well basically keep it in place and then I'll wrap it with the elastic so also of course will prevent moisture loss so I'm wrapping up and to the point uh, where the buddy tape was remaining on that particular scion. Now I'm going to use a thicker elastic for this because it's a you know it's fairly large scion and it's also a uh, fairly woody piece of uh, or section of a seedling so uh, I just think that extra uh, toughness will help with getting the scion snug against the seedling and also we want it to last until this scion starts producing new growth so you also when you do graft make sure that wrapping the um, elastic around the scion doesn't change the scion's position um, I might be able to use this little piece of elastic on something else. Probably not, it's a little short, but I'll cut it off so it makes it easier to wrap buddy tape around this area. I need just a little bit more. Yeah. So I'll just cut a piece of a piece of buddy tape and wrap the final part with that. Okay, so I'm going to write the, the name of this particular variety uh, lower than when, where I grafted it. So when I cut off, uh, hopefully this takes, and I cut off the top, I'll still have the name and the date on the plant. And today is the 20th? Yeah, November 20th, okay. And flies 2018 and actually I've got one more step to do and that's to cut off the youngest leaves of the seedling plant because you want the energy of the plant to go to the graft and so it doesn't need all these leaves we want the new leaves to form here instead so can cut off these graft um, we can cut off these leaves no problem and hopefully this graft will take so 10 days ago I cut these scions from the tree they were prepared scions so all of the leaf stems had already fallen off <laughs> no, you're sweet so I immediately wrapped them in buddy tape and after a couple days put them in the vegetable drawer of the refrigerator so I just got them out of the vegetable drawer and so one of these scions is going on this tree which is right next to the tree we grafted on the first time and then the other one will go in the back next to the other tree now we're expecting some cold temperatures tonight and tomorrow night so I'm not sure how that's going to affect things uh, but we are just going to put these on and hope for the best.
Okay, we'll get our second scion onto this branch. Last week I put the scion on this buddy branch of this, and so it's a very similar situation. This particular branch is greener, but we'll just go ahead and put it on, see how it goes. So now we have all of this foliage up here on top, and we really don't need all of the food to go up to these leaves, so I'm just going to cut back this bunch of stuff. So there's plenty of leaves left on here to keep that branch active, and hopefully the a lot of the energy from the roots of this plant is going to go to that particular scion. So these can just become future food for the tree. As I mentioned before, we are expecting some cold temperatures tonight and tomorrow night. I'm not sure how that's going to affect this particular experiment, but we'll just have that be one of the factors that we evaluate. These are the last of the scions that we prepared weeks ago. So this will be the final part of our experiment. This smaller one looks like it's browner. That could be just superficial, but I'll cut the end off to see how it's looking. Well, it looks pretty darn good. So this small scion I'll put on the small plant and as long as we have three I'm going to use one of these others on this other plant too. So here's our other location for testing these scions out. I, I've already grafted here onto here on this one. Seems like there's another one also. So anyway, to keep things as comfortable as possible, I'm going to graft onto this area here. Okay, so there's our last scion, just dated it, 1219, and it might take a while before we see any action from these grafts because it's that time of year where things don't grow as quickly as others. I'm looking at the previous grafts that I've done and all of them look like they're green still on this tree, so that's a good sign. I'm checking up on uh, the experiment on how long will scions last. A lot of people either order scions through the mail or pick them up at the farm and don't immediately put them on their trees. Well, how long can that scion stay in the vegetable drawer of your refrigerator and still be viable? Here's one of the locations for this experiment. Uh, we're underneath a very old turpentine tree and I grafted onto seedlings of the turpentine tree. Uh, of course, that makes good rootstock. The only downside to this particular location is that there's no irrigation. And these seedlings, while they do have root systems, they're not extensive root systems. And we've had some rather dry weather for the last couple months. Um, but right in front of me is a scion that I grafted on the 20th of November and it is still looking green and in fact the, uh, the bud is starting to push through the buddy tape right here. So that's good. Over here, this was from approximately two weeks later. 
This was the 5th of December, and this is not a successful graft. Uh, you can tell that it's just crackly, it's very brown. There is a green bud here, but with all this dried brown wood here, there's no way that green uh, bud is ever going to form. So it was not successful on the 5th of December. Uh, there are a whole lot of other graphs that weren't successful, but fortunately, we just noticed this one here, which was done on the 27th of November, and we have growth. So that's a good sign. At this point, uh, you know, I'm just going to take off this one branch here. I want uh, more energy to go to this scion. After these leaves get to be mature, then I will cut this uh, rootstock back and it will then be the grafted plant. So anyway, let's go check out the other location, see what we find back there. Here's the other location for our grafting. I grafted on the 20th of November. This is still looking green. Uh, the 27th, here we go. We've got nice growth here. And then the next date was the 5th of, of December. And I'm just going to cut this off because unfortunately this one did not take. It's brown and very dead. So possibly the cyan was too old. Possibly this particular branch was in a worse location, but definitely a fail. Next one is the 12th of December and I'm cutting it off, so that's bad news. It is also a fail. So, very dead there. And the last one was the 19th. And yes, another fail. Um, so, I'm not sure what this story was here. Uh, first two dates look like they took and the other ones were not successful. This is not, not what you want to see on your graphs. So from this little experiment that we did, uh, it seems that scions reliably keep for about two weeks, and sometimes you get lucky and you can get a graft uh, to take with a scion that is older than two weeks, uh, but fresh is best. You try and graft those scions as soon as possible and uh, it will definitely affect your success rate.